guys, welcome back to another movie review and today we are reviewing Imaginary. Yes, Imaginary is the uh, new horror movie that uh, has come out in cinemas this weekend. And uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is a movie directed by Jeff Wadlow. And it also stars The Wonder Wise, Tom Payne, Veronica Falcon, and Betty Buckley. Now there's a few people in this film that I actually do know. Betty Buckley is actually, I, so I know her from Split, I think it is. Um, she's really good in that. The Wonder Wise, who's like the main character in this film, uh, she did play a little role in Jurassic World um, Dominion, the latest one. Uh, so yeah, there's a few people in this that I do kind of recognize I guess but imaginary what is the general premise of the film well Dewanda Wise is playing Jessica now Jessica is basically a stepmom to these two girls uh, Alice and Taylor and Alice basically has an imaginary friend they move uh, into this house which is basically Jessica's childhood home when she was younger um, her parents have passed away or her dad's in a care home so she decides to move home and take her new family with her like her boyfriend and his kids uh, with her and and um, yeah, they basically move in, make it their own home, and yeah, the stories unveil themselves. Well, in the end, basically, Alice uh, is the youngest daughter uh, of, uh, of, of the family, I guess, uh, has an imaginary friend, and um, that friend is Chauncey. Chauncey. And um, she basically has this bear all the way with her, and you can imagine all the things that happen with it. But the bear is very much pivotal to the movie, and um, it is the imaginary friend. Uh, she finds the bear in the basement but the demon or whatever is basically using the bear um, as an avenue to get into Alice's mind and manipulate her to do certain things so that she becomes his kind of thing. Um, all very far-fetched of course these are horror movies and you do have to go into them very much with a pinch of salt. There's a lot of things in some horror films where acting is really bad and I didn't feel like this in this film. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the acting was really really good and I actually thought the plot was very engaging. There was also I was actually I actually fell for this there was actually a massive twist at the end most of the time in horror films we have the ending that we expect and then we saw that happen and you're just like oh there we go a few people in front of me were getting up and going because they thought that's the end of the film and then they they walk down and then they're like oh it's not the end of the film we better sit down let's sit down again so that's what happened and um, there was a twist very very well done I personally didn't see it coming not gonna lie and um, when I watched that, I instantly just jumped up an extra half a star for me. I was just like, yeah, fantastic. The actual aesthetic of the film I thought was really good. We actually got a bit of a, a tease at the very early part of the film. Very, very well. The first scene really was that and um, we got a bit of a tease about uh, a dream that Jessica has been having and that dream was very vital obviously at the time you don't really do well, you don't know that and you know it's going to feed into something but it was very vital to to the rest of the film as I said I thought the acting was really good we had uh, all different types of characters in there I will say this film felt very female heavy which was refreshing to see uh, there was a lot of females in there and it's, it's bad that you even feel like I need to say that but it just was and they all did, in my opinion, very, very good. I have seen online that this is very split in terms of reviews. This is one of those ones that's quite difficult to actually talk about because I don't want to give too much away. It gives a lot of the um, the things that you'd expect in a horror film, like the bear, his head turns, uh, his facial expressions change as well. Like he looks angry as years go forward um, and stuff like that. So he's definitely not just a teddy bear. Uh, there's also a lot more to the whole bear thing, which I don't want to give away because I want, if you do watch it, you can really expect experience it like I did. I had a really good time with it. You know, you go into a film and you think, ah, oh, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be night swim level. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, but no, for me, I actually really enjoyed it. So rating it, I actually gave it a three star. I thought it was really good. I thought the acting was great. The music was fantastic. Some of the cinematography was fab. There was no CGI in the film at all, really, like apart from like some set piece stuff, apart from like fake lightning and like clouds and stuff. But there was like this creature thing at the, at the end, which had CGI, which was really good well done in my opinion but also like there was like a, a man in a suit if when you see it you you will know so again really good really authentic and just felt really good to me um i would definitely watch this again to be honest uh but i don't think it'd be like a day one pickup for me three star though it, it, it it's good i really enjoyed it it had good moments in there 
and um, of course it's not you know doesn't blow me away no the, the twist as well at the end that was really good but it wasn't um, we're not talking doom we you know but there it is guys there is my review of imaginary let me know your thoughts down below if you have seen it are you going to let me know down below thanks so much for watching stay tuned for more and i'll see you in the next one goodbye